Well, for this video, I'm going to have a few different things going on here. Here we have the Federal. Camera does not like that fluorescent light. There's an F on there. That's a Federal. That's a standard uh, standard velocity. It's the Federal like 550 round value pack that you would buy. That's what that come out of. I don't have the boxes for them to show you. This one. is a Winchester Super X. That's the 555 round value pack that you would buy. The white box. That's Federal would be a burgundy and black box. <clears throat> this one is your Remington Golden Bullet High Velocity. And this is the blazer forty grain. The Federal's a thirty six grain and to be honest with you, I'm not sure what the Winchester or the Remington is. Now first one I'm gonna show you this bottom one here this is the Remington Golden Bullet high velocity they come out across there it looks like it didn't open up until way back here it's a 13 inch block so that's around the 10 inch mark about eight and a quarter to just about ten and a half is what that little cavity runs there that's a vicious little cavity there for a 22 but problem is it's back at nine ten inches not up here where you would want it it did exit the block and it went into the first water jug so looking at 14 15 inches of penetration and here it is it opened up nicely but from what the gel saying it didn't open up until nine inches So that's not so good. Next, is, let me see, this track comes back. I think it's a little wider here a little bit of damage there comes back it exits into this block and comes back and that looks to me like it's sitting backwards that is the blazer I'll do this one from the top. This track comes back. Little piece of fragment there. And then back here stopped right at the back of the block. It's up against the back. So about 13 inches. That is the Winchester Super X. See that fragment there. And it did do a little bit, it looks like another fragment there, a little bit of damage. 
up through there. Now this next track over, that's a federal. And so are both of these. There's three. Three tracks there for the federal. Two of them come out of the block and went through two water jugs. So the third one managed to keep in the second block. I put the second block back up there. I was trying to only use one block. So I think it's this one. This track here comes back, ended up coming into this block. Don't pay attention to that track. That's for something else. It'll be in the next video. Uh, federal stopped back here. So the blazer is looking at about 20 and a quarter inches of penetration. And the federal is at about 22 and a half. So I'm going to get these few bullets dug out here. We'll get some weights on them move on to the next video which is a 12 gauge test and here we are all dug out there's your federal your Winchester that was that fragment I pulled out there's another one back in the middle of the block a little piece as well that's your Remington golden bullet and there's your blazer Now these were shot at 10 feet and they were fired from a Mossberg 715T which has a 16 inch barrel. Get some weights here. Uh, the Federal. thirty six point nine that's coming a little heavy I know they're a thirty six green uh, Winchester with the fragment thirty two grains that was probably a thirty six green as well so I'm not sure what these golden bullets are Must be a 40. Coming in at 36.9. And the 40 grain blazer. 38.3. So out of all these rounds I well obviously I like this one the best but that damage is eight and a half nine inches in when it starts now if you're hunting uh, of course that's a ten feet too 
outcome might be a little different at a greater distance but if you're hunting rabbits, squirrels, what have you, eight and a half inches in for penetration isn't gonna do uh, too well for you. When you get a squirrel that's only three, four inches wide. As far as the tracks go, I kind of like the federal track the best, which it doesn't open up much, but apparently that does flatten out early on. So, that's better than this coming through and not opening up till late. This one was pretty decent too, the Winchester. Overall, for hunting, if I had to pick out of these ones, I'd either be the Federal or the Winchester, which are standard velocity. Problem is, like with my Mossberg and the Ruger 1022, these standard velocities don't like to function well in them. The Ruger 1022, these don't like to function much at all. Where these Remington high velocities cycle fine. Mossberg, they cycle, these ones cycle most of the time flawlessly. Every once in a while you get a jam. Doesn't open up right. Not enough pressure to open the bolt. And that's usually when it starts getting dirty. Needs the oil. So, that's something. You sem semi-auto guys. These ones might not work so well for you. I'm not sure about the Blazers. That's the first one I've ever fired. There. Fired it by itself. Uh, but the Remingtons, they, they cycle fine in my semis. Of course, here in PA, you can't hunt with your standard velocity, or your semi, so I typically use these standard velocities when I go hunting anyway, and I use my lever action. So that's what it is for them. Thanks for watching.